of the uh, first decade of the 21st century, and uh, as we are entering the second decade, uh, we are left, the world is left with a number of uh, challenges. Climate change, water and security, food and security, human and security, and so on. These challenges have two common features. One is they are, they are interconnected and the second is that they cannot be addressed by a single country acting in isolation. They are interconnected. Climate change affects water. With uh, the warming uh, uh, of the uh, Earth's surface, we will have more uh, changes in the rainfall uh, patterns, more severe extreme uh, events in the form of uh, droughts uh, and uh, floods, and this will affect uh, the food production. Look what's happening, what happened in Pakistan, what just happened in Australia, and what is happening in here in Sri Lanka. Similarly, uh, climate change mitigation is linked to energy, and we are trying to mitigate uh, this energy effect through production of biofuels, which will affect the uh, production uh, of uh, food. They cannot be addressed by a single country acting in isolation. And sometimes they are even exacerbated when it, it, uh, it is so. In 2008, we had to face a severe food crisis. The response to that food crisis was an uncoordinated reaction by different governments in the form of export bans and in the form of a panic import. And this has created uh, a dysfunctioning uh, market with application on the prices. So saying this, we need now to move away from our silos uh, approach to this uh, problem. We need to better understand their interconnection, but we need also to understand the interconnections of the solutions to these uh, uh, challenges. So this has implication on the way we do things. We need new approaches, approaches that are based on the uh, integration, integration, integrated uh, approach. We need also to uh, change the way our institutions are organized and work, and especially at the governmental uh, level. And we need also to change the way we promote our uh, research. We need a more multidisciplinary research that can help provide this uh, understanding. This also leads to the need of more cooperation. Cooperation that is based on a sound knowledge base, which should be fed by uh, first class uh, research. We need also to provide a space for dialogue 
for exchange of experiences. And this space should be a neutral space built on trust, which can help exchange information, exchange experience, and also find the solutions.